Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. I'm finding that harder to do now because everyone keeps taking the mickey out of me, like my family and stuff. They're like, hello. So, um, yeah, you'll have to excuse me if I, you don't know why I'm laughing, but it's just because like the grandchildren and that now, they say, hello. Anyway, that's my Hell's Bells. And for people who um, don't know what that is, it's just a name that my daughter Grace came up with for the ladies that um, enjoy the channel and follow my antics on here. So it's just, you know, it's just a little name. It's nothing, but it's kind of like a little club that you don't have to do anything to be a member of. But anyway, I'm rambling on. I wanted to come on today because... I kind of got things backing up, you know. Um, I've got the holiday, obviously, coming up at the end of March. And I've got loads more stuff to show you for that. Plus, um, I have been kindly gifted some items, luxury items. And I feel, I really, you know, it's twofold. I want to show you them because... Um, they're lovely and I've been lucky enough to get them and I want to share that with you. But in the UK, it's Mother's Day. I don't know if it's Europe or just the UK because I know it's different in America and Canada. It's Mother's Day coming up here on the 19th of March. And a couple of these things might well be just the ticket for your mum if you're looking for a gift. And as a mum myself, I know that... Um, I really appreciate it when I get something that I wouldn't just ordinarily buy myself, you know, something a little bit special. Um, so even if the kids club together, that's that's just really lovely if you're lucky enough to have that or, you know, just treat yourself for being a mother. So um, I've got some silk and I've got some cashmere and I've got a funny story. Well, I think it's funny and I've been deliberating whether to tell you. But um, I probably will because I've got a big old mouth on me that just um, tells everybody everything, really. I'm just an open book. So um, I also went to Bravissimo uh, last week with um, my next sister down. And I've got that video to put together for you. That was a really fun trip. And that was kind of with Mother's Day in mind as well, because, um, you know, you don't, it's just not your mum, it's kind of mothers in your life. And my sister's got two girls and obviously I've got the three. And um, it was really nice to spend some time with her. We don't get to see each other very often on a one-to-one -one basis. So that was pretty special and she really enjoyed it. And um, we do a piece for the camera, a little kind of just a couple of minutes interview with her experience at Bravissimo, which was very positive, I have to say, as, as was mine when I last did it. And it was again, in fact, oh, off I go again on a tangent. But um, I'd been done, you know, I'd been measured, got my bras and everything that I showed you back, I don't know when, a little few videos ago. And one of the bras I wasn't really sure on. And um, so I'd chosen a bra and I got dressed again. And I just said to the young lady that was sorting my sister out, I said, oh, um, I'm not really sure about the bra I got last time. So she said, what size was it? I told her, I said, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. So anyway, it was all on record. She went and got that bra, the Oti one, the Oti Mabusi one that had the, you know, the two of them had the kind of ribbons up here, but this one I think had two ribbons, lovely bra. But the satin was just kind of uh, not full. My boob was not full enough for it in the right place. So anyway, she said, well, try it on again here, blah, blah, blah. And she said, no, it doesn't really fit you very well. And um, so I chose another bra. So that was fabulous. Um, and I'll tell you all about that in another video. So I'm just rambling on. So I've got some really lovely items to show you. Um, I'll, do, I'll do these first, actually. I'll do the cashmere first. So remember that? gossamer cashmere shawl that I showed you that I bought for the cruise and I just bought that you know I was looking for one of those and I bought it from a company called Black and then they got in touch with me and said oh you know we had a really good response to that we'd love to work with you send you some more items if you would like to show them so that's what I'm doing so again 
came in this lovely wrapping. You know, I'm a sucker for wrapping, but I think these are actually, you know, this is actually pr practical wrapping because it's got the ribbon on it. You could actually keep keep them in here. And um, I know Moth's got hold of one of my sister's pashminas. So I would actually, for the winter months, I would pop a little moth repellent in there with the um, pashminas. Now, I've been lucky enough. I know how lucky I am. I really do. Um, to be gifted three pashminas, shawls, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, in England right now, well, and the UK, I think, and Scotland in particular, we're, oh, it's going really, really cold. I mean, I know people in Canada and that will say, well, that's not cold. But it's going up to, I think it's minus 10 in Scotland. Anyway, so very appropriate. This is the most... Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous pashmina scarf. It's um, basket weave. And uh, it's kind of quite, um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's quite kind of airy, if you know what I mean. It's got a real weave to it. It's not like a regular pashmina. And then it's got a very short, soft fringe. And it's in this beautiful kind of steel grey, I suppose. It's not that wide. Can you see the pattern there? I don't know if you can, but it's really lovely. It's about probably, I'd say it's probably 20 inches wide and probably one and a half meters long, but just, oh, it's so, so, I love pashminas. I love cashmere shawls and scarves. I've, I've got quite a few, but I haven't got a gray one. So I opted for that one in the gray, gray, grave. That's an unfortunate slip of the tongue. And I'll put all the links in the in the um, description box, which I know you can't see if you're watching on the TV, which is really daft, isn't it? Sorry. Just some black tea. Um, but uh, if you look at it on your phone or your laptop, you'll be able to see. And then I got this one which is more of a traditional um, pashmina. You know, it's the, the fine knit. And this is in a, well, what would you call this? It's a grey, but it's a very blue grey. I can't remember. I mean, this is honestly so fine. I can see through that, but it's not one of their gossamer ones. But what I like about these is that, you know, if you're wearing them, they put, fold up. I mean, you know, that's so fine and, and lovely. Um, and if I recall, I think this one is shaded. So I think it's paler here. Yeah, so it's a paler color here. And then it goes down to a darker blue gray. So that's lovely. This is a bit weird because this is all like warm stuff. And then I've got to strip off and show you some cold, cold stuff. I mean, as in, it's for warmer weather, but it's absolutely delightful. And then I got another gas, gasoma? gossamer shawl in this absolutely to die for blue. I love blue. Everybody that watches the channel knows that I love blue. And um, this is so fine. And really, really big. So, you know, you could just wear it. I'll probably need this with my next item. You could wear it just around your shoulders. You can, you know, there's loads of videos on YouTube to show you different ways of wearing them. I mean, I tend to always wear my pashminas in the fairly bog standard way. But, you know, there are videos that show you. I won't be able to do it now because I haven't even practiced this at all. I've just done this spur on the moment. Spur of the moment. Well, you take one under, one over, and you kind of get a neater finish. But um, these are just beautiful, in my opinion, and make a really good gift for anybody. Um, I know, you know, I've, yeah, I mean, obviously they're not cheap, but they really are a special gift. Isn't that colour that I just... I just love this colour. I think you can see why. I just love blue. Anyway, so that's the um, the cashmere. P 
pure luxury. That's me. <laughs> I wish, but aren't they lovely? So that's that's those, and like I say, I will link those. And then I go the other way. So what shall I show you first? So these items are from Lily Silk. Do you remember the company? I think I've worked with them twice now. You'll recognise the box. And they all come beautifully wrapped with um, the black grow grain ribbon. So I've actually used these boxes at Christmas and I just used my Cricut to put a new vinyl sticker over the top because they're really um, high quality. And in there, I've taken them out because I, I want to give them a little um, iron up. And it says, there's a little sticker that says, live spectacularly. And then there's this little folder, shirt folder, which is, I mean, that sounds dark, but I do use a shirt folder when I do all my ironing, but not for shirts actually, but for t-shirts. So again, lucky, lucky me, I was gifted three items. I haven't tried them on, so fingers crossed. And one of them is to go with, um, the my uh, cabaret jacket so it's this little silk camisole that I was oh, as I break my neck on the chair that I was um planning to wear with the um black trousers and the and the thing so it's just got a really kind of sexy dare I say um element to it so I'm going to go and pop this on and I'm going to change my trousers because I can't be bothered to be quite honest with you. I'm going to try this on and um, I'll pop the jacket on with it so we can see what that looks like. That's if it looks like halfway is reasonable. And um, and then I'll show you the other, other two items and I'll tell you what I think is a funny story, whether you think it's funny or not. But poor old Rob won't, won't like me sharing it, that's for sure. So I'll just go and pop this on. I hope it doesn't come back in. He's just taken Dolly for a walk. I wonder what the hell's going on. It's freezing cold outside and I'm putting black silk on while he's out. Taking my life in my hands. <laughs> so I've popped the camisole on. I know I've got a blue bra on, but, um, you know, I'm in a bit of a rush. But it's, uh, and, and it's got um, adjustable straps, so I can just shorten that. But um, when, I, when I try it on kind of properly, I'll show you the new um, Bravissimo bra that I got, which is fabulous. It's got a really low plunge and that's what I would wear with this. So that would come up there and it's just got little, you know, it's pure silk. I mean, gosh, it just feels gorgeous. Can you see, I mean, what, what is Rob going to think if he comes in and I'm literally on a freezing cold, miserable, horrible day, I'm standing here in black silk and my cabaret jacket. <laughs> my life gets madder and madder. But anyway, I've got, I'm going to sit down and tell you this story quickly before he comes back in. Enough cup of tea. I need this. So, do you remember when I told you um, about our trip to Venice and how uh, Rob packed a kite? So, that's Rob for you. He's bonkers. Anyway, um... It was his birthday and I packed, Rob bought me for my birthday a few years prior to that. He bought me a Janet Rager um, black silk nightgown, which was absolutely beautiful, really beautiful. But I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it really because I think it was 160 quid for this. And that was a long while ago. But it's very, very beautiful black silk nightie. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you this. I don't think the kids will watch it. Maybe they will. They're grown-ups. Anyway, I thought, well, I'll shove it in the case, you know, see, see how we go. And um, when we unpacked, I got it out of, the, out of my case, shoved it under the pillow, like tucked it right under the pillow. I didn't want him getting any ideas. And uh, depended if, you know, it was his lucky night or not, basically. And um, when we came back, we went out for a long walk. And when we came back in and the um, 
the chambermaid or room assistant or whatever you call them these days had been in to the room and she had got my black silk nighty and she'd laid it on the bed like laid it on the bed and it was kind of like shaped like this this beautiful black silk nighty well let's just say we had a different reaction to each other when we walked in because we walked into the room and I was like oh no oh no she's put the nighty out and he was like oh she's brought the nighty that's I'm not going to say anymore that was I, I just oh for goodness sake anyway that was Venice um so this just black silk reminds me of my very glamorous black silk nighty. So um, moving swiftly on, that's the, the black silk camisole, which a very useful item to have, I must say. Um, obviously, I know I've got a blue bra on and I won't have a blue bra on when I wear it, but um, it's a nice length. It fits really just perfectly. And so I will then show you, I've got a beautiful shirt and I've got a dressing gown. So just bear with me. I know I should change my bra. I'm sorry, ladies, I just don't have time. Look at this beautiful, beautiful silk blouse. Now, this is so unusual because the front piece is cut from one piece of fabric. So there is no seam on the front. There's a raglan sleeve on the back, but no sleeve on the front. And this just going to move the camera down. I know like I've just got my normal black trousers on, but isn't this lovely? Really, really luxurious silk. This is a mulberry silk and it's just got one button there on with a hidden placket. I don't really know why that's there. I suppose if you don't want to shake it lower. But um, just gorgeous, so beautifully made. You can see it's a really high quality garment. Um, just, just luxe. I mean, what else can you say? It has got a little belt with it, but I, I'm not kind of that person. It's got a really thin rouleau um, loop belt with tiny, tiny, can you see just tiny little loops there that um, it can go through if, if, I suppose, you know, if you're really slim and you want to kind of drape it more. But um, I think that's lovely. That would go really nicely with that black sequin skirt, wouldn't it, for a different look. And some of Meneer's jewellery. I will be showing more of the jewellery as well. But I just wanted to show you this. I think it's divine. I mean, I can't, there's not enough words to describe it really. It's very special and I love the way that the sleeve though, there's no seams, so it just gives you this really smooth line, no seams or anything to kind of jar. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's a really, really useful item to have in the wardrobe. So that's that. And then um, I'll just go and pop the dressing gown on. I mean, you all know what a dressing gown looks like, but Never had a silk dressing gown before. So this is the navy blue with white piping, pure silk dressing gown. Like I say, I've never owned a silk dressing gown. I've never, I've never owned silk nightwear. I mean, you know, my budget just doesn't run to that. This is in the extra large or is it in the 18? I'll put the link on and it's a nice long one. I know I've got the trousers and trainers on and all the rest of it, but um, you know, it's, um, it's got nice long navy belt. Again, it's really high quality silk, you know, it's not thin and nasty. It's a real luxurious um, piece and I think it's gorgeous. I mean, honestly, like I say, if Rob comes in from walking the dog and I'm sitting here in a, in a silk dressing gown, so I, I need to hurry up and get changed out of this. But it's got nice pockets. It's just lovely. I mean, it's a good length. You know, it feels really chic chic. What else can I say? Oh, showing you my boobs. So, um, 
yeah, I think it's, well, it's obviously it's really lovely. I mean, who wouldn't love a silk dressing gown? Anyway, that, oh, and oh gosh, I'm, I'm trying to be quick and then I haven't shown you this. So I got this free gift, which I think, I'm not sure like if it's per spend or whatever, but I don't know what it, I honestly don't know what it is. I haven't opened it. Oh, that's pretty. It's a little pendant. It's really pretty. That's a pretty little thing, isn't it? It's like Diamante with a little, oh, it's the Lily Silk uh, motif. And it says, stay gold. I don't know if that's a saying or a, what material it's made from. So, it's got quite a short chain, but it's very lovely. Very pretty. So, you know, nice little extra. They they do um, go the extra mile with their packaging, Lily Silk. I will say that. It's really high class. All of it is high quality. It's really lovely silk, really nicely sewn. And uh, I haven't had a dodgy thing from them at all. Um, and I do sleep on the silk pillowcase every night. So, um, yeah, loving it. So, um I'm just going to get changed and then I'll come back and wrap up. Right, back in my normal clothes. So, like I say, I just wanted to quickly show you. I've got this stupid tuft of hair. wanted to show you um, the beautiful pashminas and the beautiful silk items because um, I was very aware that um, time was pressing on. If you wanted to order anything for Mother's Day um, in the UK, obviously you've got a bit more time. I'm not sure where Mother's Day is elsewhere i think it's more june time anyway whatever it's not my problem my mother doesn't live in anywhere talking of which i'm going to see her and i will be filming another conversation with her which i'm looking forward to and i'm hoping to if i can get the camera set up and everything to film my drive through the new forest oh that's my new nail varnish color pretty isn't it um yeah, but I'm very aware, you know, there's a lot of vlogging going on and apparently it's the biggest cause of accidents right now is vlogging while you're driving. So I'm just going to like face the camera out and just like film it and edit it when I get home. I'm not going to really talk to the camera while I'm moving because um, I think, you know, you need all your wits about you, especially in the forest when you've got the fear of um, animals running out at you at any second. So, um, not sure what order all this is going to happen in, uh, but I'll, I'll try and get everything out to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do and see if we can get to that, for, we, me, I, and get to that 14,000 um, in the next couple of weeks. I've got so much to show you. Honestly, I'm overwhelmed with it all. Um, right from, you know, the beautiful jewellery, right through to an air fryer, right through to a new gadget for my face, which looks amazing. I have used it once, but it, um, it looks amazing. I've got the Bravissimo story to share with you. So, so much. So I really need to get a wiggle on. I, I can't sleep at night at the moment for everything that's uh, going on. But anyway, it's all good fun. And so lovely to talk to you all and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.